In this lesson, we're going to talk about inheritance. In programming, inheritance allows you to create a class and then create another class that uses the original and adds additional information to it. So it becomes more specific. If you're thinking of the real world, your parent class would be dog. You can know generically that a dog has paws and fur and eyes and teeth and ears, and it does things like run and play and sleep and eat. You can then have a more specific class like German Shepherd, which is a herding dog, and you can add functionality like herding to that particular breed of dog. The parent would be dog, the child would be German Shepherd, and it would have all of the attributes of a dog, plus it might have special attributes of a German Shepherd if it were trained to do the herding things that German Shepherds were bred for. In programming, we're going to look at, this is going to be our parent class. We have a bakery object, and we're going to, we're going to initialize the bakery proje product with the product quantity and price. When I put double underscores in front of these, it makes this an initialization, the original object, hidden so that other classes cannot directly access and change my initial object. When you do that, you have to include methods called mutators that will let you specifically access and change each of those hidden values. And we do that Normally they are referred to as setters and getters because they're typically use set product, set quantity, get product, get quantity. So we'll do set, we'll pass in a quantity, and we will change that initial object. We also have methods to get information. So we can return the product, the quantity, or the price. And then I have additional methods. I have a method where I'm returning the price times the quantity, which is my item price. And I also have my string, which will return a string value for the object. And this is giving me what would be on a receipt. I call the value line item, and it's the product plus the quantity plus the string for the quantity. And then I'm doing some formatting for the currency so that it's with two places for the float. And I'm doing a total cost for the price times the quantity so for the total cost. When I run that, I will get receipt type statements where it's glazed 12 each, 75 cents, total 9. You can see I actually initialized two objects, donut and donut2. And you can see that this is how that string that's returned prints the values from that object. Then I can go in and I can change the value of donut, which was my first one. So I set the price to $1.25, and the $1.25 will change here, and the total will change. So donut was initially this for the object, but I can go in and using my set statements, I can change that. I can also get just the price unformatted just that value that's right here that's donut 2 which was 90 cents I have that returning here I can also change the quantity I change the quantity to 5 so here my filled quantity goes from 12 to 5 the price hasn't changed but the total price has so I can access any of those object any of the initial object um, values, I can access them and change them after the object's been instantiated. And this is how we typically do that. In the next video, we'll show how to use this class and create a subclass for it that adds some additional parameters.